welcome to Salesforce Atlas. I hope you're doing well. If you're new to the channel, my name is Arisa. And um, in today's episode, I would like to cover one of the requests I received on YouTube and one of the comments. And uh, it is about the phone format validation. Um, maybe you have seen, I've done a, I've done a formula around the email format validation uh, with the regex, uh, regex function. And um, I actually worked out the formula that worked for me. However, it is very tricky with the, with the phone format validation because you have to consider uh, how you're importing data and uh, how your automation works, whether whether you're using a specific type of format uh, for phone numbers or it's just a free text. And you also have an extension that your users can add to the phone field. Pay attention to these little details and uh, definitely do some testing just to make sure that everything works well. But uh, this video is going to be really short, unlike some other videos, because I have already created the formula and I have tested it. So I'm just going to go over the formula again and I'll explain you how it works for me. And uh, also I will run some testing just so you would see why I've selected this formula and how you can use it um, by simply tweaking it, make it work in your org. All right, I'll be sharing my screen. And as always, I'm in one of my playground environments. And uh, I did try something out yesterday. And uh, here you can see I'm in contact and I'm going to be testing this phone field, phone number field. And I also have prepared a list of country code and also a contact us form that I was testing yesterday. And uh, there is a, the request was specifically around the country code. So I'm not covering international prefix. I'm not covering anything else. I'm only in this video covering the country code. And uh, from what I've noticed that country code for all countries, it starts either, uh, it has either one digit or maximum three digits, or it was four digits somewhere. But as you can see, as I keep scrolling down, there's three digits, there is one, there is there is two, and uh, that's pretty much it. So the minimum and the maximum of allowed um, numbers for country code should be one and three. So it should be between one and three. And then another thing as well, in my formula, I'm going to add as well a plus sign, as you know, international phone numbers, they start with plus sign. And again, it, is, it will be up to you how you're gonna be using this formula. And also, if you decide to go with the specific formatting, as you can see, I had this example. It is, it was, there was a variety of numbers. Let's say in this number, it is split into two, two, two. Then we have another, another number here for Portugal. We have, so the country code, then there's two digits and we have a long list of seven digits. So if you are formatting into 222, then your validation rule might ignore a different formatting. So let's just go and let's see what I've created uh, in my validation rule here. So I'll just uh, go in contact, in my contacts object, and I've got here international phone number validation. And uh, it is again a regex formula. And I will explain it to you in a bit. All right, so what I decided to go with, I'll just expand this view. So the formula, you have to create a formula in order to validate this, um, this number to make sure that there is a country code uh, and it matches the formatting as well. And uh, I created, I marked it as active already. So in my regex formula, well, there are two ways how to go about something not not matching it's either not or an exclamation mark i started with an exclamation mark and regex so it would say by salesforce standards that it's not e not equal to regex regex and the um, the statement that i've provided and it didn't work then i found information that only if you use not your formula for multiple regex functions will actually work and uh, it was true, it worked for me. So I started with not and or to just split into various sections. 
And at the end, I also added is blank just in case I want to, I wanted to uh, keep my, as I was testing it, at the end, I wanted to keep blank field and I couldn't because it was prompting me to add the phone number. So at the end, I also had to add that it is all right to leave a blank field uh, if I haven't got any value for that, which will save you time in case your users are updating uh, contact records and they, they don't have a number. Maybe they have just created the contact. Then they, again, they won't be able to edit the record because it will prompt them to add a phone number. So with the regex, with the regex formula, I have four statements here and four statements are split into, I think it will be easier. So you can see that these phone numbers, they're split into sections. And I'm just telling in my regex function how I want uh, the formula, how I want Salesforce to, uh, to, to look into each section. So if you, if you notice, that so everything starts with a plus sign and then i have these repetitive sections it is exactly the same meaning but with the different values and what it means that the number can have zero to nine so if i put one to nine it means that the international number can't have zero in it can't have null in it and i want to avoid this so i'm adding basically all and numerical values and i'm saying that the minimum value i want it to be one let's say for the us number that will be plus one and the maximum number i want to have three values now now if i go back to the list you can see that the minimum value i will have one and the maximum value i'm going to have three in my very first uh, column or in the very first section how a number starts. I have four, plus four, three, plus three, two, plus three, five, or plus three, five, one. I found a number that had the long, that had actually four digits in the very beginning. That's why in one of the other sections, I added four. The formula can be changed. I also like changed it just to, to match uh, my environment and the way I was testing it. And um, so this is the minimum and the maximum, and you can provide. And you can you can place any numbers, and it has to start with a plus. So it will validate whether that's an, an international number. Then the next section I have, you will see the difference in here. In the very beginning, I tested with the dashes, so I actually split into dashes, and then I was testing it with blank spaces. So in here, you can see as I was copying and pasting these numbers, I at some point I just didn't want to keep I didn't want to add keep adding dashes in between. So I decided to just amend my formula a little bit more and add spaces. And uh, there was another limitation that, that that I came across is that if you add spaces in the in the lowest amount of, of numbers or where you have um, the least sections as I have in here, because here I have, let's say I have one, two, three, four, five, and six. I've got six sections because I also had like a lot of sections in here and a, a lot of sections in here. And uh, where you have the least amount of sections, the limitation I came across was that I could easily save plus one, two, three, four, five, six. And uh, that's not a real number. And uh, it is too short as well for an international number. So to avoid it, I just added some dashes as well. So it will, it's kind of another layer of security just to make sure that your data is clean. And uh, yeah, definitely before, creating any validation rules, I would think the, the formatting because it can get really tricky and um, it can create some errors. So now let's say, uh, as I have explained the sections why I have here, so this is indicating spaces. Now let me just go and um, show you how it works, how it worked for me. Now I will just use the, the numbers in here. I'll start with the Austria. 
Now I will just go and test it. And now I can save it. So it is very good. I can just, I found the number and I could easily just copy paste it. And as you can see, the formatting is very different. Now we have different spaces. And um, so the previous number, let me just save this one. All right, so in here, it doesn't work. And that's probably because I have created this another rule and uh, it is requiring me to add dashes in between. Otherwise it would just save. Yeah, so now if I add dashes, I can save the number and I can still confirm that that's an international number. And uh, just to show you why I've done this. So why did I decide to remove spaces and add these, these dashes to separate numbers? Now, if I go and change this back to what I tested earlier, now I'm just going to check the syntax and I'm going to save the record. Now there is a, there's a very interesting thing. So as you know, as I've explained that I've got a minimum, uh, so the minimum required number in each section, I have one, two, then three, four, and five, six. So if I have spaces and the minimum, num minimum required number is six, six digits, it means that now I can just save this number Obviously, now I can save it like that, which is all right. But the problem is that I can also save it. I can also save it like this. And that's not a valid number. Um, it is too short. And um, I just, to, to avoid this situation, I decided to go with dashes. Now I'll just go and change it back, but I hope you see where it's coming from and why I've decided to, to go with this solution, just because it was, it allowed me to save very short numbers and that, that, that wasn't, that's not the case I'm looking for. All right, and now again, if I just go and I, let me try this number right here for Switzerland, I just go to the phone field and I paste it and yeah, it has saved as well. And let's say, how can I save, let's see if I can save this number. All right, it can actually save this number as well. In that case, I would need to amend the formula. And I will create a new relation rule just for the plus sign. Paste it, left phone, one. All right, so I just had to create two validation rules. Um, maybe it can be done in one formula, but uh, as I was just doing it on the go, um, I noticed that if you create a separate validation rule just for the plus sign, then it will work. It didn't work in the same formula in my original one, but if I add plus sign right this, like this, then it, it will work, as you can see. 
uh, which is very nice. I'll just try it and I will just test another number. Let's say Luxembourg and I go paste it. So it spaces and just save it and very nice. And have I got any? Well, as you can imagine, it works on uh, on all numbers. And if I have a shorter number, like with Portugal, then I just need to add some, I think I need to add some dashes in the middle. Let's see again. All right, no, it actually saved. So with, with very short numbers, uh, it might require some dashes. So this is something you can still play around with and you can test it. And uh, you could think as well whether you require the plus sign. Maybe you only need the uh, the the country code and then divide it um, with dashes. Now, as you can see, it is uh, it can be quite tricky with the phone validation rules because uh, it really depends on the formatting and it depends on the spacing. Uh, whether you follow a strict uh, strict rules regards to phone numbers. They start with three digits and then they have three in the middle and then they have four or five at the very end or you split them uh, in a different way. Maybe when you're mass importing phone numbers from uh, another system, uh, maybe there's a rule that, that, uh, that you're following and uh, maybe that system imports uh, phone numbers in one long line. So just think about these little things and and uh, use the formula, amend it, and you can select, you can predefine the minimum and the maximum numbers for the international code. And you can even remove the plus sign if you don't really require it, or you can create a separate field uh, in your org for international numbers, just to make it even more clear. And then when you're importing, in, uh, when you're importing phone numbers to the to this international uh, phone number field. It's uh, follows strict rules. And then your original phone number is not affected. And uh, I really hope that this uh, video will be useful for you. Uh, feel free to ask me any questions. I know it's a tricky subject about the phone number validation. I'm happy to uh, answer to your questions. Thanks a lot again for watching the video and for your request. It was really a great one. I enjoyed working on this and uh, it was a bit challenging as well. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Bye.